was illegal. I didn't think family should be allowed on the dais as a roaster, but he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Bob's favorite uncle, Vito Basinetti. That's it? I eat chicken in there for that? Come on, we can do better than that, can't we? You know, there we go. See, look at that. <laughs> uh, before I get started, I want... Uh, by the way, I got everything written here, so if I look like I'm not reading, I'm not. Okay, so we got that done. Don't, and don't try to figure out what I'm talking about, because I haven't figured it out, and I don't know, because that's not written here, and I'm just rambling right now. But I was supposed to tell... Wally Hughes, I think, did a wonderful job before dinner. Now... Listen, Wally, on the, uh, on the way in, Wally, I gave the uh, attendance there on a banana wagon an extra hundred bucks, so you can stay the whole night tonight. <laughs> All right, and Jim, I, Mr. Coyne, I did, I did want to thank you for the Lamborghini and the uh, cement will be delivered there to the Civic Center site on time. <laughs> and, uh... Ed Levine, I dropped those records off at the, at the uh, studio before I came up. See, see me when we're done, I'll give you the cash, all right? And, and Bobby, you won't believe this. I was, I was coming up in, in a limo on a cellular phone, Dutch, Dutch called. And he said he's sorry he couldn't make it this evening. You'd understand something about he's already done something with one monkey, and, and he's been haunted about that the rest of his life. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. No, that's funny. You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> okay, let's get down to business now. I'll tell you, when cystic fibrosis, you know, they first contacted me about this thing. They said they wanted someone well-known and influential and draws a big crowd. But I told them, I says, I can't. I, don't, I couldn't stand up here all night and be, and be uh, bugged by everybody. So I says, you know, they, they had to settle for somebody less. And, well, there he is. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. His ties all nicely tied and everything. I guess they lowered their requirements a little bit. But uh, the thing that shocked me the most was afterwards, when I found out Bobby was going to, I couldn't believe they'd come in and, and ask me to roast, roast my own family, my own, my own blood. I, I just, I couldn't believe that. But what the hell? Okay, I'll tell you the truth about Bobby. He's, he's arrogant, he's rude, he's obnoxious, and besides all that, he sounds like a speared frog. I don't know where he ever got a voice like that. There ain't nobody else in the family that talks, talks like that. I don't, I don't understand it. Now, I had a whole bunch of things here that I, I was going to say. I was going to tell you about the trip to Disney World, how I knew there was trouble on the way down when we're in Atlanta International Airport, and we can't get served at this thing because the waitress remembers him. Now, mind you, thousands of people come through this thing on a daily basis, okay? But he's remembered, and we can't get a cup of coffee at the damn thing. <laughs> then we get down to Disney World. Now, what do they do? They pick us up, take us there in a limousine. They give us nice rooms, everything. They give us a Mickey Mouse credit card with I don't know how much we can spend on it for free on wall. And and I should have known this was they gave Bobby free reign of the place. You know that's like that's like sending Tyson into the ring against Danny Ferris or something like that. I, <laughs> well, nice to see you, Dan. I was. <laughs> I was going to tell you. I was also going to tell you about how we, we took the Mickey Mouse credit card one day and we're going to have a beer. And all of a sudden, Mickey and Goofy come, grab Bobby and take him out. I don't know where the hell he is. He's gone for hours. He comes back with some story about going to an undersea cavern with a block of ice with a 3D wall in it. Next thing I know, we're in the limos back to the airport. We can't never go back to Disney World again. <laughs> We're banned from there. I can't, I can't even go to Disney World anymore. That's how, it, that's what kind of man this is. Now, I guess I've, uh, I was supposed to say five minutes worth, but how much time is it? Anybody been keeping track? It's only been one minute? Well, how the hell with it, I'm done, so. <laughs> You're gonna have to just look at, I'm going back over there and sit down, you can look at me for four more minutes then. But uh, there is one thing I wanna say that 
that Uncle Vito's never told Bobby before, and, and I think it's about time that Uncle Vito says it, and, and this seems to be the special occasion. Goodbye, dummy.